This video could either be pretty cool in a new segment or it could fail miserably. What I want to do is just play around on my sketch pad. It's something I try to do a few times a week, uh, even though I'm not producing any knives right now or anything like that. I have stacks and stacks of these notepads and I feel like I'm playing around right now. So I figured why not turn the camera on now with this new setup and I can have it overhead and hands free under here. Um, and maybe I can talk a little bit about knife design and uh, how I feel as far as looks go. Maybe that could be the nose. I start to try to pull together stuff that would look cool. Like certain shapes feel better to the eye. In my opinion, this right here is already looking pretty aggressive. So that's maybe the front nose. Wow, this thing is going to be wide. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work out. So now I'm already trying to think about what grind would be cool looking and maybe mm, something really aggressive slicer like this. What about some sort of choil here? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't like where this is going already. If I didn't have the camera on, I'd already start trashing this. Maybe let's bring it up like a swayback design. Sway back means something like this. Maybe we can take a little bit of inspiration from that. Let's go ahead and knock this bump out here, although we could refine that a little bit later. Let's make this one continuous line. Alrighty, we'll see. I think it's a fail though, what do you guys think? I think it's a fail. Let's maybe make this come down for a little bit of a flipper. How about a finger groove? I'm gonna kick this up. Remember, you gotta save some space here, uh, even in your sketching, because you have to think that your tang is coming back somewhere around here to lock up, right? You can get pretty close to the pivot, but there you go. So what I'm saying, you have to leave space back here because when this blade folds around, it's gotta clear the front handle unless you want your tang sticking out, which is terrible design. Again, this is stuff that could be refined later. I hate this already though. So now I'm measuring from the pivot to the front. We'll go to the pivot to the back. So now we know this handle has to be at least this long, even in our sketching process. Maybe it'd be nice to match this coming like this. And maybe we'll swing that out just a little bit like that. Then the idea would be to keep on refining, keep on refining until you get something um, that would actually fold. What I want to do is make an imaginary line, trying to think about the overall profile and how the knife is going to look. So your eye would actually follow this design. Your eye wants to complete this line here. So let's go ahead and make all those run together. Right, now we can start erasing that. That also put a little more belly on the blade. So what I actually didn't like um, come out to be a funky little organic design here. Now, it's probably way too thick to carry and use. If I had to review a knife like this, I probably wouldn't like it. I would question why that big old rhino horn thing on the front. But it certainly looks cool. Maybe I would put a little more belly on that just for fun. But you can kind of see where I'm going. You can almost apply a lot of this stuff to any knife. Now where I would end this handle, you know, just in the sketching process, where this line wants to come through like this, I would end that handle right here. And carry that right there. And then if we had a flipper or whatnot, this is where it would stick out. And then you'd have to position your stop bar and we'd have to make sure it even folds into that. So let's go ahead and play with this a little bit more. Even though I hate this design, I kind of hate this was the first kind of knife in our segment here. But again, we could keep on further refining this, refining this. It's kind of a cool looking profile. No? What if we did like a Fremont Jack, how it kind of has a wedge shape like this? What if we kind of brought that to the sway back style? Like kind of took a Fremont Jack and bent it around. That might be kind of cool. 
I'll be honest, I don't like where this one's going either. I don't think I'll post this video. <laughs> it just ain't, ain't nothing going right, for real. It looks like a, a turd or something. <laughs> it's just terrible. What do you think? Ooh, doo-doo. No, thank you. Let's do something for fun here. Let's pull this down. Let's get something aggressive and pointy. Let's not try to stay small. Oh boy. Ooh. All right, let's keep that right there. That's aggressive looking like a cutlass sword or something. Now let's keep this nice and upturned and pointy. And let's put the handle and it right here. Let's try to pack as much edge into the blade as we can. Pulling this back, this is gonna come up. Maybe we'd have to put the pivot down here somewhere. Let's make this all belly. Wow, that is huge. Go to the pivot to this, pivot to this. And we have to be at least this long. I kind of even like where I put that at the angle there. And, oh man, what do we think of for a grind on this? Maybe this comes up. How about a really deep, like, hollow grind? Something like that. I don't know, I would probably never even, like, buy a knife like this. But I think it looks cool. Now you could bring the back down like this. Or... If you're a guy watching this video, you know women look a little better with their back arched, right? So let's see what that looks like with it arched. Just a slight little arch. And it will probably look better. Doesn't it? Doesn't that look a lot better than the rounded? You guys seen those memes on Instagram? You know what I'm talking about. That thing looks wicked, but uh, yeah, probably totally not doable design. We have to leave room for the lock bar in here. So we can't come up too big with our finger guard unless we could get some sort of uh, compression lock or something going on up here. Right, like the Spyderco Junior. But I'm thinking frame lock. So we need to not come as radical with these finger grooves here. We need to have space to clear here. So what if we made this almost like um, uh, Ernest Emerson, you know, he kind of does these larger guards here. And we're going to come down like this. This also would leave somewhere if you were doing like a pull cut, maybe to put your thumb up there. Then I would hide this sharpening notch in here like this. I think that's a lot of knife companies should do this right here like that. You see? And this allows for a nice, smooth rolling into right here. You see what I'm talking about? We'll finish this one up and see where it goes. Again, because we're keeping this like bat wing, Batman knife thing here. Let's try to round this point out, but maybe arch it here too a little. And this knife is almost everything I hate in a knife because I like something that is nice and straight. It doesn't force your hand into any sort of grip. But if we're drawing fantasy knives, I guess that's what I was doing. So let's see if that blade would even fold real quick before we get on out of here. Let's go like this. Real quick. Now pivot here. Hey! If we could extend the handle down to here, we could chop off that much of the handle. That wouldn't be any problem, would it? So we know we need to come down about right here. Come down about right here. This needs to come maybe out like that, and then we're, we'll be folding in no time.
I could design Chinese fantasy knives. What do you think? What you would do is tone this way down into like a uh, a reasonable, like this is very cartoony. Maybe you could tune this and make those swoops and all that stuff not as great. I don't know. All right, so let's see. Here's our new handle. There's our blade shape. Now, does it pivot around? Sure does. Look at that. Does this make sense? There it is folded. And there it is open. But, would it actually feel good when you held it? Eh, maybe. Maybe you would want to do, instead of having this flat, what you might want to do is kind of match this. Maybe put a choil in here. That's the ticket. I just solved it right there, huh? Put you a little choil in there. Again, we're just sketching. Now that does away with the sharpening notch. You got your choil. You have like a double guard. Maybe you could figure out some sort of a, a hidden flipper thing in here. Maybe that would be enough. Maybe it'd have to poke out just a little more. And maybe, let's test that real quick. I've been reading a book called The War of Art. And it says you just gotta put in the work and just do it. So you have to make time. I wanna have a knife designer out there one day. And if I don't get out here and put in the work, then it will never happen. All right, so our stop pin would have to be somewhere, maybe about right here if we want to stop it like a hinder. Right, because this is going to be tucking the handle design really close. Do you see where that handle is through the light table? And then that's going to be a really high riding flipper. You probably could pull it in to come 90 degrees off of this. You probably want your flipper maybe right here. So let's rotate this back around. Let's translate that to the original sketch. We want that this one right here. Oh, that's fine. That just shrinks up the um. That puts it about right there. That just makes that choil just a little bit smaller, and that's fine. That's fine, cause that just moves the flipper forward a little bit here. Now we can erase this and this. Again, creating that visual where I would end the handle. I'd bring this back like it was gonna come back here, just visually, and then that's where I would put the handle. And then of course the blade here would come up straight, the tang somewhere along here, and then the frame lock would catch it right here. And then the hole for the frame lock. I'm talking on the back side, your um, detent would be probably somewhere right there. And that's on the reverse side. I don't know, let me know what you think. Kinda wild. I bet it would sell. If it wouldn't sell there, it'd sell in the flea market with the Bud K catalog. All right, guys. I'm just goofing around, but you can see where uh, some of the proportions were going. Um, this and this would be equal, this and this would be equal. Maybe you could see the process. You'd have to, uh, man, really round out this choil a lot better. What's cool about this is it all folds, and I don't see why it wouldn't work as an actual knife as far as mechanics go. If I was really serious about this design is I would take this light table and keep on refining it and refining it and refining it because there's only so much erasing and moving around you can do. So there's kind of some fun. Maybe. I don't know, it'd be fun to cut it out in cardboard and see what happens. All right, I know this video is entirely too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it.